10 o'clock Feeding for the guap I be beaming Losing balance Yo bitch falling on my yacht They like Whoa. Smell like genius That's my Elon Musk 10 o'clock And it's PM Be impatient with my buzz Yeah You can't rock with us I can't rock fitties I don't cap with them I see fake on them The eyes look fake on them so day one was a pretty cold day, so I decided to go with a warm chicken curry and dumpling. So to a couple of onions, I added some oil and then I went ahead and added my spices and you can adjust this according to your preferences. added some chopped tomatoes and some salt and then the skinless chicken because the skin contains a lot of saturated fat and then I added my carrots. I cooked it until it was done and then I added the um, dumplings which I'll link down below. Last night's meal was really amazing but I forgot completely that I actually got coriander to put on top of the curry so yeah don't forget that for tonight's supper i've made this really flavorful lentil and bean cottage pie um it's topped with the potato and carrot topping this i'm going to pop in the oven just before we're ready to eat so it can get a nice crispy topping and warm through um you don't have to put it in the oven you can just eat it after you've made it like this or put it in the microwave if you're eating it later and then to serve with it i've made a little bit of a spicy tomato and onion salsa so let me show you how i made this I tend to use pulses in my meals quite a lot because of their nutritional value. They're economical sources of good quality protein, rich in fiber, low in fat, virtually free of saturated fatty acids and naturally free of cholesterol. The benefits include lowering the risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity and cancer, improving digestion and also assisting in weight loss. So how much should we eat? Guide says 3 to 4 servings of a half a cup per week. I'm really tired and feeling very grumpy, but I've committed to this, so going through with it. Okay, update. I cut up one piece of chicken and then I was just staring at it for a few seconds and I decided I'm not doing this chicken stock anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a, my new regular vegetable stock. I'm gonna be using carrots, onions, and a vegetable stock cube to make vegetable stock. I'm probably not doing it right but anyways it works so I'm doing that I'm leaving out the chicken I'm just too damn tired for it man I found the soup mix in the cupboard and I decided to add it because I wanted to make the butternut soup a bit more substantial butternut soup usually lacks a lot of protein and fats because butternut is basically a carb so by adding something like soup mix or even uh, red lentils would actually help to boost the uh, protein a little bit and then also keep you staying fuller for longer Driving perfect circles, wonder if it's worth it. Always getting hurt in the key. So it's day four, and I really want to do this spicy peanut chickpea curry. I wanted to add some extra veg to this meal, so I went ahead and bought some extra spinach since I had that 10 bucks leeway, so that brought the new total to 202. I added a couple of spices, chili, tomatoes, to onions um, that I was sauteing in oil, and then I added the chickpeas, some salt, peanut butter, and then the spinach. Do you think it's enough spinach? I'm sure we've all heard that spinach is a good source of iron, however, the type of iron found in spinach aka non-heme iron is a bit more difficult for our bodies to absorb compared to heme iron which is found in animal foods. Adding vitamin C in the form of tomatoes or peppers for example increases your body's ability to absorb iron. Additionally, consuming food sources high in heme iron, example liver, lean red meat, uh, the dark meat of chicken also helps to increase the absorption of non-heme iron so it helps to pair these foods at a meal. You might want to pause and take a screenshot of the following graphic. when I'm thinking when I'm thinking let's do something fun I've never made tortillas before but I'm looking at the ingredients I have left and it makes perfect sense 
For the spinach component, I simply sauteed chopped spinach with a leftover carrot and some garlic. For the chicken, I just uh, cooked that off with the green pepper and onions and some spices. For the tomato and onion salsa, I just chopped up those vegetables and put some salt on them. And then the corn, I just double blanched in boiling water. For the green sauce, I just blended the yogurt with the chili and the coriander.